another video, we are combining like terms. And we say that two terms are going to be like terms if they end in the same variable or if they look alike. So here for number three, I have two terms that end with the same variable, an m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline them in yellow just so they match. So because they end in the same variable, those are called like terms. Even though they might have different numbers out in front, which are called the coefficients, they still end in the same variable, which would make them like terms. And then the regular number that's in the middle, we can just give that another color, like let's say blue. This negative 9 is going to be on its own because it doesn't have any other numbers to combine with. So now what's going to happen with this is the yellow terms are going to go together. They're going to add together to give me 1m plus 10m. 1m plus 10m is going to give me 11m. So those two terms are going to combine like that because I'm adding them together. I add the numbers that are out in front. And then the negative 9 that's underlined in blue, I'm just going to bring that over to my final answer. So I'm going to get 11m minus 9. So that's the first one. All right, number four. When I look at number four, I see that both of these terms end with an x. Even though they have different numbers out in front, they still end with the same variable, x. So that means that these are going to be like terms. I'm going to underline them both in yellow to show that they are like terms. And I'm going to combine them as like terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the numbers out in front first. I have 3 minus 9. 3 minus 9 is going to give me a negative 6. So I'm going to get a negative 6x. And I have to remember to bring my x over, or it's going to be wrong. So those two terms that end with an x, they're going to combine to give me a term that also ends in an x. So I get negative 6x for my answer. OK, going down to number 5, I'm going to switch my colors to yellow. And I'm going to underline the terms that end with a b. This b is going to be a variable. They have different numbers out in front, 8 and 7. But that doesn't matter. They're still like terms because they both end with the same variable. And now I'm going to change my color to blue. And I'm going to underline the two regular numbers that don't have a variable. So they're just going to combine on their own. OK. So when I put the yellow terms together, I have 8b plus 7b. That's going to give me 15b. And then 7 plus 1 are my regular numbers. Those are going to combine to give me an 8. So 15b plus 8. And then for the last one, I underline the x terms first. So this is going to be a 1x. This is going to be a 4x. So when they combine, I'm going to get a 5x a 5x. And then the regular numbers, I'm going to underline those in blue, like usual. I have a negative 9 and a negative 4. So when I add negative 9 and negative 4, they combine to give me a negative 13. And that's it. So that's combining like terms. All you're really doing is you're putting like terms together by addition or subtraction. You put terms that end with the same variable together, and then you put the regular numbers together. And that is combining like terms. I hope that helps.